Hey guys, I'm in one of our greenhouses, unheated greenhouses, at our flagship plot, and it was full of lettuce. We've still got a good amount of turnips in here. And today I'm just gonna do a quick video and kind of explain something that we discovered this year on how you can save lettuce if it gets frostbitten or some cold damage. So we had a really cold start to the winter. We had right out of the gates this crazy snowstorm as we got into November. If you follow my vlogs, it was around the time that I headed down to Spokane for a conference there and just got hammered with snow. So I was sitting here thinking, wow, this is it. Like this is the uh, crazy winter that we were all expecting, but we've had an incredibly mild fall. It's been amazing. That snow came, it lasted about a week, three inches of snow, it melted, and got some pretty cold temperatures, got down to like minus 10 degrees Celsius. And during that time, the lettuce in this greenhouse got some frost damage. And so it's basically recovered. And I'm gonna explain how it happened. It's, it's quite simple, but um, what happened is it, it wasn't actually frost, it was, it was sort of a cold damage because we don't actually get frost in a greenhouse technically, right? Frost is when you have humid air condensing and dropping to the ground and as the temperature warms up for the day as that thaws out that's what happens with frost damage and that's what can kill a crop so that doesn't happen per se in a greenhouse but what does happen in a greenhouse if the if the ambient temperature drops you things will kind of freeze and so what happened here is all of this lettuce which is now harvested got these little green spots on it. So you, this happens with a lot of different types of greens, but it's most visible with um, lettuce and arugula will do a similar thing if it's, if it's not really hardy. But you'll look at your lettuce leaf and it'll have these little blotchy green, dark green spots on it. And when we came in here, it was about three weeks ago, we came to check on everything after the snow had kind of subsided. We looked in here and we went, oh geez, you know, this stuff's all damaged. And so our thought was, well, let's just leave it and see what happens. Maybe because we had some warm temperatures coming and it's been like it's been above freezing every night uh, ever since then. So we just left it and the daytime highs like it's 10 degrees Celsius ambient temperature right now with no sun. If there was sun right now in this greenhouse, it'd probably be 20 degrees Celsius, but we left it and it basically just healed back, like it grew back. And we came and harvested this two days ago. Mark just cropped it all out. And uh, it's, it's great, it's, it's great product, it's perfect. So that is basically what we did, is we, we just kind of let it sit. Um, you know, if we looked at the forecast back then and saw that it was gonna get colder or worse, then we knew that lettuce would have been right off and we wouldn't have banked on it. But we just saw some warm temperatures coming and we just said, let's just leave it and see what happens. And it actually regenerated. So that's kind of what happened. The lettuce survived, we sold it. Now what's really cool is we've got most of our, our other caterpillar tunnels and this one are harvested. And um, we have now our hothouse, which is the double layer poly house at the, um, at the home base. So that lettuce will now take us further into winter as long as we don't get too cold, but we'll see about that. So the moral of the story is, if something looks damaged, don't give up on it just yet. Sometimes if you look at the forecast and you see the weather turning around, it might regenerate. Hope you guys have found that helpful. We'll talk to you later.